I'm Teresa Ryan. I'm one of the coordinators for the MIPA program, which is the Medicare Improvements for Patients and Providers Act. We are with the Community Living, Aging, and Protective Services Division, and we want to help people understand that we are available to help with their Medicare costs. We just simply call our program Medicare and Medicines. That's actually the focus. We help people who are on Medicare, so people that are 65 or older, or people who are on Medicare based on a disability. And we help people pay for parts of their Medicare. Our main focus is called Extra Help. It's a federal program through Social Security Administration a wonderful program. There are thousands of you Oklahomans who are on Medicare who are eligible but not yet enrolled. So this program helps cover the cost of your Medicare Part D expenses and your prescription drug costs. Another program that we help with is a state administered program called the Medicare Savings Programs. If eligible, this could pay some of your premiums, co-pays and deductibles for Medicare Parts A and B. So although we don't literally enroll you in that, we can give you valuable information about how you can apply and help you with contact information and some just a few simple instructions on when you do that. We also want people to know about the availability of the Medicare Preventive Health Services, a list of things that cover doctor's office visits, diagnostic testing and procedures, counseling, diabetic supplies, vaccines. These are available to anyone on Medicare regardless of income if your provider accepts assignment. These services will help you stay healthier longer in your own home and more independent. The Extra Help program is the program I mentioned that helps pay for Part D expenses and prescription medications. We can help you enroll in that over the phone, no office necessary for you to go into. There are three criteria that we screen for to see if you're eligible for the extra help program. Number one, you must be a Medicare beneficiary. Number two, there is an income limit, a different limit for those who are single or those who are married, even though there's just one person in the household applying. And then third and final criteria are assets or things that you own. We want to make clear that you understand they do not count your home or any land that it's on. They won't count vehicles, personal possessions, life insurance, a burial plot, or an irrevocable burial policy. The assets that they will count when considering the extra help program eligibility are a 401k, an IRA, savings accounts, oil rights, extra land that you don't live on, mineral rights. Those are examples of what assets are counted. To apply for the Extra Help program with MIPA, we encourage you to look at the map on the screen that you see. The color coordinated areas are corresponding with the MIPA coordinators in that area. Please locate your coordinator in your area. You'll see the name and the phone number, the email address. We invite you to contact that coordinator and let's see if you're eligible for extra help. To learn more about the MIPA program, about extra help, the Medicare savings programs, and preventive health services, Please access the website that you see also on the screen. We invite you to look at the publications that are available to order in bulk, or we can send them electronically. We do presentations for entities in your area that provide services for people on Medicare. These are churches, senior citizen centers, clinics, and the like. All the coordinators are available to help you with presentations and to provide resources.